Meanwhile, new AI regulations have come into force in China as Beijing tries to balance controlling the faster growing technology with supporting its development. The rules require AI providers to register their services and undergo a security review, and artificially created content must now be labeled. Virginia Dignam is professor of responsible artificial intelligence at Sweden's Umeå School of Business, Economics and Statistics. I think the, the concerns with AI are global, and it's it's not some things that they don't that they know more than what we don't know. For instance, in Europe, uh, there is also a lot of work being on, going on on regulations, uh, as well as the UK and the United States. Uh, the concerns are, I think, mostly the fact that AI is becoming an ubiquitous technology and a technology that is being used in many different types of applications and services, and we do need to ensure that these applications, this service, are uh, transparent, are uh, um, ensuring, are fair to uh, taking all the different users and all different situations in a fair and just and, uh, way. We need to take into account issues, concerns around, around bias, around lack of inclusion, about lack of participation. So in a sense, we need to, to make sure that the, uh, the development and use of AI is aligned with our ethical principles and our democratic values. Do you think the government is trying to slow down the development of generative AI? How can regulation strike a balance between fostering innovation and ensuring responsible AI development? I think that we tend to understand regulation as prohibitions. The regulations don't necessarily have to be prohibitions, have to be blocks into the, the development and innovation. We can much better understand uh, regulations as a stepping stone, a a giving a direction in which innovation should, uh, should go on. So instead of uh, going in any kind of direction, regulations are going to tell us, please make sure that all the innovation innovations that you are doing are aligned, for instance, with uh, are fair, are aligned with principles of privacy and justice, are taking into account the computational costs and the energy use of this system. So it's not prohibiting, but much more um, pointing the direction for innovation. And in that sense, then we really can balance or we can use uh, regulations as the stepping stone for innovation. Yeah, AI is a global phenomenon and its impacts that transcend borders, as we can see. So how important is international collaboration? It is crucial. I mean, uh, it is indeed something which is uh, uh, cross our borders. We, all of us use AI developed and designed and uh, existing in different, uh, in different uh, parts of the world. So we do need to make sure that the standards are global and that also the agencies or the, the, the institutions that are going to ensure that the regulations are taking into account are also designed in an international way. Uh, issues like like uh, the computational costs, the energy costs of AI is something that it's going uh, needs to be uh, taken into account uh, in a global way.